Let's talk about two ways that you can get Caddy Linux on an M-series MacBook. So firstly, you can get containers, which are great for quick tools and just using the CLI. And then you can get VMware Fusion, which is great for that full desktop experience. In this video, we'll show you how to get both set up and running and then tell you which one is best for pen testing. A quick heads up, both routes are ARM64 native and they run smoothly on Apple Silicon. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Okay, cool. So the first thing you need to do is download Docker Desktop. So once that's installed, then you gotta install the application on your MacBook. So once, so you need to drag it into the applications folder because Mac has that cool animation that basically allows you to start installing things. So now once Docker Desktop is done, as you can see, it's just copying Docker to the applications now. So let's give it one second. There we go, it's done. Cool, so now you can launch the CLI and I just want to show you that Docker isn't installed on the CLI because Docker Desktop doesn't install it. So you need to use brew and just run a brew install Docker to install the Docker CLI tool. So that shouldn't take too long as well. So as you can see, it probably took about one second. So now once that's done, you can launch Docker Desktop. Cool, just accept that, enter your password. And then you can skip the sign in. You don't need to create an account for it, for especially for this demo. So once we've got that, uh, you got to have it running before you can pull the latest Kali instance. So to do that, you're just going to run Docker pull Kali and then Kali Linux, then Kali rolling. So and then we want the ARM version of that as well. So ARM64 is the one we're going for. So then that's also just going to get pulled down now from the Docker repos. Um, it doesn't take too long as you can see it takes about one second. So then we're going to run that now So to do that we're going to use the command docker run and then specify the platform tac tac platform And that is Linux arm 64 and in version 8 and the name of it is going to be Kali Cool, so then I'm just going to use the, the tag v flag and give it the home the home variable as the name so that will be root and then Kali work is the folder and then I want to put that in the root folder there and then specify Kali Linux Kali rolling which is the image we just pulled down. So and then give it the bin bash shell. So now that's running you can see we have root in the container there. So to just give yourself access to all the tools because this is a bare bones Kali Linux you won't even have access to sudo. So to do that run apt update and then apt tack y so you don't have to press y when it asks you to press y and then full upgrade so to just upgrade everything and to get you the latest version of Kali and the packages that are available cool so now once that's done we can run apt tack y install and then do all of the tools that you would generally find on a default installation of Kali linux on something like vmware so to do that we're going to do Kali linux headless net tools rp root 2 curl git and then python and pip Cool. So this is going to take quite a while. So while that's going, as you can see, it's get, making a lot of get requests to the Kali package manager. So while that's going, we're then going to start installing the VMware Fusion. Okay, guys, I'll put a link in the description for where to download VMware Fusion because I know it's quite a pain to find the download link. But um, you just download it the same way as you do Docker Desktop and drag it into applications. Then once you've done that, you're going to need an ISO file. So you can get that from the Kali Linux website. I'll also put a link there. As you can see, you just go to Kali.org, get Kali, and then choose your platform. So we want to install an image. And then once we've done that, we're going to go to Apple Silicon. So not X64, Apple Silicon ARM64 is what we're looking for. Cool. Then you just want to download that. It's about 3.6 gigs. So once that's downloaded, you'll have your ISO file. Then all you need to do is open VMware Fusion and drag that into the VMware Fusion page so that it creates a virtual machine. Then choose Debian 10.x and just give it two gigs and two gigs, two, two cores for, for, the, for the memory. That's all you really need right now. You can obviously increase that. So cool, now we get greeted with the graphical installation page and then just follow the prompts. So just choose your location and then you can choose your keyboard. So I'm just going to use American English as the first one and then it will install. So pretty much it takes a little bit like five minutes to install everything. But once you've done that, you can press run. And as you see, you get greeted with the Kali Linux GNU and then you just press Kali Linux normally and then specify the user and password that you did when you set up on the installation. Now let's open a terminal because that's the best part. 
So as you can see, it's a full graphical interface, not like the container, which was just the CLI. And then just run a Who Am I? And as you can see, it's Kali. And that's how you install Kali with VMware Fusion on a MacBook. Now, which one should you actually choose? If you want quick and tidy access to the Kali CLI, then containers are the way to go. If you want a full fat Kali VM, desktop experience, then VMware Fusion, that's the way to go. Now, after watching the demo, which one is your favorite? Which one is the best one that you feel is the most comfortable to use? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.